Hi, my name is Renata and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's crafty session, I have played with some Art by Marine acrylics, gel plate and of course Art by Marine paper elements. When making our journal pages, sometimes I first make backgrounds and then pick appropriate focal points. But in today's case, I found these two cute flamingos and they served as an inspiration for making the background. As you can see, these uh, images, uh, when pushed out, have a bit of a white frame around them. And I think that's uh, really okay when making cards. But for my art journaling purposes, I choose to remove the white frame. Anyway, this step is really optional. And I know a lot of us occasionally skips the fussy cutting because not everyone has the patience for it. After fussy cutting the flamingos, I took art by Marlene scrapbook paper from the signature collection release. And then I will do some more fussy cutting. I chose to cut out a couple of flowers and leaves that would give my page a bit of a tropical, jungly feeling. But anyway, let's go to my background making. As you can see, I took out my gel plate and some art by Marlene acrylics. The colors that I have chose to work with are called Heaven, Kermit and Ballet. And I will spread them using a ranger brayer. Now, as you will notice, as I haven't taken out my gel press for a while, I think I just got a bit out of it and I have definitely used way too much paint. Now, the thing to solve this would have been to take another paper and use this excess paint to make another background. But sadly, I wasn't thinking about it on time. Anyway. As you can see, I'm trying to remove the excess paint and uh, even the paint a bit on the gel press. Otherwise, it may look a bit uh, messy on your paper. But to make some uh, background interest, I took this uh, older Art by Marlene stamp set from the Essentials release and it's called Mixed Elements. It's a really beautiful stamp set for all those mixed media lovers and for everyone who likes and enjoys making pretty backgrounds. Anyway, I am using the stamps to lift off the color and I'm using just a couple of uh, different little stamps, mostly randomly over the surface. If you use your stamps with acrylic colors, just be sure to clean it nicely in time so your stamps would uh, work nicer and stay pretty for a longer time. As uh, you will see very soon, this process of stamping lasted a bit, so some of my paint dried. And when I try to take a print, it won't lift the color. In some area where the layer of paint was thinner, in my case this was fine because I did want this a bit uh, grungy look. Just it's something to be aware if you don't wish this kind of effect. You should try to work either faster or just to put another layer over this uh, previous layer of color to kind of refresh it and make a more even print. One of my favorite colors is blue. So I felt my page needs a bit of blue to look even prettier. So I decided to use a bit of uh, archival ink in a blue color called Forget Me Not and uh, very soon another one called Faded Jeans which is a bit uh, darker shade of blue. This darker shade I put only towards the edges of my page but also I will use it for stamping. The stamp that you can see me holding is another uh, older stamp from Art by Marlene called Writing on the Wall. This way that I use the same ink color for the edges of my paper and uh, stamping, I uh, made sure that my page background won't look too busy, as my focal images were already quite colorful. 
Now, as uh, some of you might know, I really put a lot of emphasis on adding the shadows and highlights to my art journal pages. And for adding shadows, I tend to use many different techniques and mediums, like watercolor pencils, uh, watercolors, pastel pencils. But this time I wanted to show you another technique. And for this technique, I needed my surface to be non-porous. So for adhering my pages, I used matte medium. I made sure that all of my elements and the rest of my background were really nicely and evenly covered with a thin layer of matte medium. And when I was really sure that my matte medium is dry, I will proceed to do the shading. So the medium that I am going to use for coloring and adding shadows is uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Markers or brush pens. They are made out of India ink, which is waterproof and permanent once dry, but it has a little drying time. And that is the property of these brush pens that I'm going to use. As you can see, when I uh, draw with a brush pen, I have a couple of seconds time to use my fingers and smudge them a bit, which actually gives the effect of shadows to my images. This is a very easy and fast and fun way to adding shadows to your art journal pages. Just you really have to be sure that your page surface is non-porous, otherwise you won't be able to smudge the markers as I am doing here. As I sometimes tend to tell, I consider adding uh, shadows and highlights a really important step as it can give more depth to your images and make them pop more against the background. And I think it's really that one step that makes your page uh, more special and noticeable. I will use this uh, opportunity also to tell you that in the description box down below you can find the list of the products that I have used for this uh, art journal page and all these uh, lovely Art by Marlene products are available in Joggles. Anyway, after giving uh, her shadows, there were just a couple of more steps left to do and uh, one of them is adding a sentiment. Mine comes from the Sticky Quotes booklet uh, from the latest signature collection release. And one thing that I like to do while uh, giving highlights to my images is also to frame my uh, quotes and make them pop up a bit. For that I will use a gel roll pen in white color. And also, as uh, you will see very soon, I wanted to emphasize some lines and for that I will use Pigma Micron Pen in black color. Adding highlights to your uh, art journal pages is a fun step and it gives a more cartoonish look to your pages. But of course, if you don't like it, it's a definitely step which you can skip. That would be all for this project. I hope you enjoyed my process and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you have enjoyed it and I really hope to see you very soon. Bye!